Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the Open Computers Challenge. This is MSSH and in this episode we are going to uh, help, well, we are going to ask Gladys to get some wood for us because I really, I really want a crafting bench over here and then, you know, stuff. <laughs> uh, but before any of that, we need to move out of the house and you know, get things going. So, uh, in the last episode, we uh, wrote a small pro program that could help us, you know, we wrote a move function that would allow us to say things like go forward four times, back three times, stuff like that, right? And in this episode, we're going to use those commands and, yeah, basically, hope that we can use Gladys to chop that tree down for us. And I mean, that's just a start, right? All right, so uh, I think that three is, how many blocks is that? One, two, three, maybe four, four blocks that way. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine blocks that way, I think. Okay, so uh, we're going to pop up to our editor over here. And this is the source code for the last time. So we're going to say, uh, after you come out of the house, go forward for four blocks, then 10 right, and then forward for nine blocks, I think. Swing, then forward, then swing up, up, swing up, up, swing up, up. Okay. I think this should be enough. But I'm not sure. And then uh, for the way back, we can say. Well, actually, this is risky. Uh, if you tell it to go nine blocks and it's not nine blocks and it gets stuck out there, there's no way for us to get it back. So I'm going to set it on a scouting mission first. So uh, I'm going to copy this line. And comment this one out as well as this one. So I'm just going to say go there. Uh, I think it's nine blocks, I could be wrong. So I'm going to say go there for seven blocks and we'll see uh, how much difference we are from the tree. You know, just to get the dimensions right. Because if you give this a wrong number of um, commands and it goes there, when it's coming back, it's going to end up somewhere outside of the house and then we lose control, right? Okay, so it goes uh, seven blocks on that way, so we need to turn around and then move seven blocks back, then turn left and move four blocks, then we have to turn around to make it symmetrical, you know? Right. Let's see. Uh, could you run the test code for us? Okay. We can move to a spectator mode just to see how close it is. Oh, I think that was exactly seven blocks. So we need to go eight blocks, not nine. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's change it here. So, uh, we need to go eight blocks that way. I'm gonna comment these two and uncomment this. this. And I think uh, we were one block higher than the tree. So, we can come down, uh, down one block. I guess it should be here. Right. Okay. So on our way back, we need to come down. How many is that? One, two, three, minus one, two blocks. So down two blocks. Turn around. Forward nine blocks. Eight here, one here. And then turn left. Forward four blocks and then turn around. Okay. I think that should be correct. Let me just see. So, 
Yeah, maybe we can add a couple of more ops that way. How tall is the tree? So we will start on that level. We go one down, and then one, two, three, four, maybe six up. So one, two, three. I'm gonna copy this. Maybe here. Then paste it. So now instead of going down twice, we need to come down one, two, three, four, five, six, and then so five. Five. Alright. Ah uh, crossing my fingers, let's try that. And we can go into the spectator mode to see how it behaves. We are one short. Alright, that's an easy fix though. We just need to go 9 here and then 10 over here. And I think I'm going to sp speed up this process this time. Okay, so Gladys did a perfect job and brought us seven birch wood and two yards. Okay, so that's our first upgrade. I'm going to use one of them to craft a crafting table because we need one. Here maybe. Okay, Gladys, uh, this is getting a little bit cramped, so we need you to go out and do you know, a bunch of more trees, right? Okay, but at the same time, here's a problem that I have with Gladys. So, um, let's say we want Gladys to actually let's open Lua and then local move require lib move. Right, and then move that move forward once. So if I say that, and well, I'm standing in the way of Gladys, it just keeps up, right? And that is going to mess up our computations if a zombie or a cow or anything else moves up in the way of Gladys. Like the Gladys does not know that the well, Gladys knows that the operation failed, but the function that we wrote does not have any idea that the operation we just gave him failed, right? And aside from that, if I put something in front of the Gladys, like a dead block, and then tell him to move forward one block, it's just going to, you know, give up. Because it doesn't know anything. Like, it doesn't know that it can break the block. It just ignores it. And so, to fix that problem, we're going to make a little bit, a little bit of change to our code and uh you know basically have a way of repeating the action if there was something wrong and yeah so that's what we're going to do now let's go to the editor so i'm thinking um i'm thinking we need to create a callback function over here so that we can have a uh well first of all let's see what the machine tells us when there is a person in front of it. So if I say forward, you see, it's going to give me back uh, a field called entity, meaning that I wasn't able to move forward, but if it is move, able to move forward, it's just going to return true, right? So let's see if we can capture that error. So I'm going to say like local temp calls it value and then let's see what temp is temp is nil and if I say go back 
it's still nil because it was able to perform the operation requested. But what if I stand in front of Gladys? What's going to happen now? So if I say forward and print temp, it's still nil. Huh. Okay. Why? Uh, maybe, maybe I need to do it like this. Huh. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so it works like this. If I say temp and error equals robot.forward, it will capture the error as entity. What if I stand here, so nothing is blocking you? What would be the value of temp? Okay, so if we capture two different elements, it's going to uh, return true or false for the first one and the error type on the second one. We can use that. If we go back, to our move function, and actually let's pause Minecraft. If we go to our move function, and let's close that one. Here, we're just calling the function, you know, without capturing any type of messages. So I'm going to capture success or error on F, and then if there was an error, we need to do something. Right. Uh, so what do we what do we need to do here? Why is it giving me an error? Oh, it's if then, isn't it? Yeah. Because Lua uses if then. Okay. So if there is an error, we need to do something. Uh, sorry. If it's not successful, we need to do something. And what should we do? Like, we are not in charge here. We, we, we need to uh, tell the guys who called us that there was a problem. So we, I'm just going to define a callback function over here. And here say that, okay, look man, there was a problem. I was asked to do word, but there was a problem. No, take care of it. I don't care what you do, just take care of it somehow. Right? And then... So who's calling the act function? It's the move function, right? So we're just going to say, okay, give me a callback here and then do whatever you want to do with it. And uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to define an easy callback function. Uh, I'm just going to create a file named handlers.lua and I think it's a, that's what, that would be the wrong folder, actually. So let's move it to library handlers.lua. And I'm going to create a local handlers and return it. No semicolons. So we, we're going to, have, uh, to need a few different handlers here, of course. The first easy one is going to be the default one and can I do it like this oh no I need to do it like this sorry so function handlers that default and then word as well as error and then the end right so depending on what the error is we need to do if we need to do different things if an entity like if me or a cow or a zombie is standing in front of Gladys, let's go back. Come on. So if someone is standing in front of Gladys, the error would be entity. But if some block is standing in its way, it 
the error is going to be solved. And we need to see what the error is and decide what to do based on that. Okay, so I'm just going to say if the error equals solid, then uh, we need to mine the block out. But if the error is entity, then, and actually let's change this to else if. Is that a thing? Else if. Okay. So if it's entity, just repeat it, right? Try it again until it works out. And how do we import a library again? We need to do this. Right, we need to try to forget the move function and then load it again. So how do we say to repeat it again? We're just going to say move that act that word and uh, the handler is me. Let's put a return on it just so it just ends the execution here. So if there was an entity, repeat it until you can move there. Let's try that out. So if I exit, then turn you on off and on again. And if I say Lua, we we'll call move equals require move. Uh, sorry, require leap slash move. And local handler require lib slash handlers. Oh, uh, there seems to be a problem here, and I don't know what it is. I wish we could scro scroll these machines, like see what the error is. But I guess we can't. And I'm not getting any errors in my editor here. So I don't know what seems to be the problem, really. Um, okay. Is there a way I can do this, maybe? Lua line six, attempt to index global handler. Line six. Oh, because it's handlers, not handler. Of course. Same here. Okay, let's try that again. So local move, leap move, and local handlers, leap handlers. Oh, hmm. What's it this time? Line six. Attempt to index global handlers. Okay. Why is handlers a nil value? Like I think we are doing the same thing in the move function, right? Oh, because I have a typo here. Okay. Right, I should have known it when I selected the handlers. Okay, let's try that again. And I'm going to just, yeah. So no syntactical errors there. Again, move, require, leap, slash, move. And 
handlers require lib slash handlers. Okay. So now move that move forward two blocks and then back two blocks with handlers dot was it DEF? Yeah. Okay, so I'm in its way, it cannot move. I go back. Again, I'm in its way, it cannot move. I move out of the way, it goes on and back. Yay! So he was able to just come forward and go back without any problems. Good job. So what if there is an entity there's a solid block in front? We need to see what the well, it's not always in front, maybe it's trying to go up sometimes right so we need to change the code here based on what the word was and we're going to try and see if uh, the word is okay I guess we could uh, create another table like that so local fix table so if you were trying to go forward, we need to set the fixed table to uh, swing. And if you were trying to go back, we need to turn around, swing, and then turn around again. Right? Well, this is swing. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Right. If we were trying to go up, we need to swing up and then up. And if we were trying to go down, we need to swing down and then down. Right? Yeah. That that makes sense, but we need to see. Oh uh Okay. We missed the comma there. So what we're going to do, we're going to call move.move .move, fix table of the word, right? Again, without self as the handler. And I'm just going to set the return here. Of course, let's just make it more clean. So uh, if temp was nil, then just repeat the last thing you were doing. So, if you can't find the action in, the, in this list, try the fix that is in front of you. Otherwise, repeat what you were doing in the first place, right? And if the error is not an entity or a solid object, so else just just try to do it again okay and we need another thingy there right and, and this should work like this makes sense the handler that we just wrote so let's uh, change our test function we are going to uh, reload the handlers and then just include handlers dot default for basically all of these functions even on the commented one okay and I'm just going to comment all of these because I want to test something different so, I want to test this function, come forward twice, go backward twice, go up twice, and then down twice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, for your first challenge, there is a... There is a dirt block. 
attempt to call local callback and nil value. Why is it a nil value? Oh, because handlers dot def. Okay, again. And it didn't, it did not work. Why did it not work? Let's see. So I think it just uh, it moved up to here and then couldn't run this function. So I'm just going to print and say was trying to run word got error error. Uh, that's not right. Wait, how do you add two strings in uh, Lua? Is it dot dot? I remember it's being it being two different characters. I don't. I just don't remember what it was. Okay, do it again. Uh, didn't change a thing. Okay, um, I didn't print anything. Is it calling the handlers function? Well, I guess it, it is because it was working for the entity one, just not the solid one. Hmm. Let's see our move function once again. So, maybe I just need to turn it off and on again, you know, sometimes needs needs that. Yeah, that worked. And if there's a dirt here, and then there's a dirt up there, and I'm standing here, well, Okay, great. So it was able to break down the dirt. Uh, let's slip real quick. We don't want uh, mob spawning in. Right. So now uh, it should be a lot easier to give Gladys some commands, right? Again, um, let's actually change some of the commands that we are already giving it. So, uh, in the test function that we have, um, we don't need that anymore, and we don't need those two. Well, I'm going to keep them. We have an out function and an in function, right? And these are just temporary. I'm going to remove them later. Uh, in the out function. I guess it's this one. We keep saying, um, you know, swing down, then down, swing down, then down. We don't need to say that anymore. We can just say down two times, turn around, forward two times. You know, the callback will call swing for us if it is needed, and then up two times. I'll just simplify that by a lot and the uh, coming home version looks fine so let's try that let's see getting out and he got stuck was trying to run sd got error a oh got error a okay uh, okay, so we need to handle the A error as well. Okay, let's move you back up actually. So one robot dot up and then robot dot place down. 
Okay. Uh, that was bad. Let's see what happened there. So we told it to go down twice. And uh, then we need to check the move file, right? We say go down twice. It was broken down to the parameters and it was calling the move with a D and the default callback. And uh, D was translated to robot down. Okay, and then for the robot the down function, it tried going down once, but there was a block in the way, so it called the callback, which, uh, which was this one, and it was trying to run uh, down, got error solid probably the first time, and then moved to here. And we told it to go uh, swing down and then down, right? And then we ran down once, but just got stuck in the loop. So why was it trying to, you know, run swing down? For another time okay I'm just going to add an else if here I'll see if the error is solid the error is air sorry sorry uh, just try it again I know that this isn't the correct solution I'm just trying to see the error message you know here for the first time Hmm. And don't play that every time, probably. No, this isn't going to work actually. Uh, if it was error, just move on. You don't need to do anything. Uh, it's this way. Right? Yeah. But why were you, why were you trying to? I don't know, man. Let's just see. So run the test function again trying to run the got error solid and yeah it just moved out okay and we aren't getting any error for the error this time but I didn't change anything that would fix that so I'm just guessing it was a reloading issue probably you know those things happen anyway uh, we need to chop down uh, two more trees that one and that one so for the first one when you're out um, you need to turn right and then go three blocks to the right right yeah I'm just going to write it here in the test file so when you're out, I need you to turn right and then move three blocks forward, then turn right again and move three blocks forward again, right? So that's there, three blocks just over the corner, three blocks, one, two, three here, which is in line with that tree. Then you need to turn left and then do, how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 I guess yeah all right so turn left and then go 10 blocks that way and then up for three blocks then down for three blocks right or is it going to be floating in midair I think it's going to be floating in midair so we need to go down one block as well let's count for that so down for one block uh, and that down needs to happen well here. This looks fine. Up three blocks. Let's put that four. Down four blocks. Then can we get the one next to it as well? So 
Well, this is complex enough already. Right? Oh. So let's fix that. So then you need to turn around, then move up once, forward 10 times, turn right, forward 3 times, turn left, forward 3 times, and then turn right. And that should do it actually, I think. Alright, so let's run you, and I'm going to go into the spectator mode. Chopping down the tree. Why is it taking so long? Is it stuck here? Can't believe it. Is it really stuck here? Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Oh, I forgot to give it a callback. Oh no. All right. I'm going to go. Jesus, this shouldn't work if I'm not giving it a callback. So let's. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to creative mode, I guess. Break that. No. Uh. Need to fix this, so I'm just going to do that and then switch back to survival real quick. And oh my god, this is really embarrassing. Gladys, I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't mean for you to end up there without having a callback function. That was not part of the plan. And I'm going to fix that. So because that happened, I'm going to force Gladys to have a callback whenever I didn't give it one so here I'm just saying if callback is nil then callback equals handlers dot default and and I'm going to require handlers here all right and yeah so whenever i'm not giving it the callback it, sh it should just you know give itself the default callback here and uh i'm going to test it this time so let's see this one without any handlers just to see what happens okay uh buddy you need to turn around Okay, actually, you know what? Turn around. So, uh, source, then test. Nope. Yeah, it gave itself the default handler this time. I'm really sorry, Gladys. I didn't mean for you to, you know, be stranded out there like that. And we're going to make that up to you by forcing you to chop some wood for us because we like you you're a family to us right you wouldn't know what to do without you and yeah once more spectator mode All right, that was that wasn't as successful as I hoped it would be, but it wasn't that bad either. So I'm I'm gonna call that a win. Let's see how much wood we have. We got four oak wood and one oak sapling. Okay, ah. Uh, Thank you. Hmm. Uh, we kind of need some more wood, but I think that's enough. I think that's uh, more than enough for one episode. 
Thank you for joining me in this episode. Uh, it was really fun. Do let me know if you uh, have any questions or if you want me to do something different with the robot over here. I think in the next episode uh, I'm going to work on a. Um, okay, I'm going to work on a command reverser, so we don't need to think about going there and coming back like you know, like we've been doing over here. Uh, we've been telling it to go to do this, and then this is the reverse. I just wanted to you know say do this and decide how to return to the first place on your own. I don't want to think about how you're going to do it, just do it for me, right? And yeah, so do let me know if you have any ideas. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.